All right. So what we're gonna replace today is a spot we're gonna replace, or oh, they call it um, it a spot or uh, washer. So um, we're gonna go ahead and. So before we basically do anything, make sure you turn your water off. Okay. So to turn the water off is basically this way to open it and that way. So turn it off this way, opening it the other way, clockwise, counterclockwise. It's gonna be a cap, just like that. It's gonna be on the um, over here. So usually you can just put a flat screwdriver and just pop it out. But this one got thread, so sometimes it might be tight. I don't have the tools that to prevent scratches. So the best way to do so you don't have scratches. Around the corners, it's basically put a, a rag or anything and just do that so you don't have scratch it around that. And you're gonna have to take that off first before you can turn your water off. So, once you do that, same thing with bottom if you don't have scratches you just put that around it and then go ahead and do that so basically I'm not gonna flush it and show you but because there was a lot of mess as far as water on the floor because we got water coming from the seal right here which is uh, the spot or the washer whichever term you want to use so we're gonna undo that top first. So as you can see, mine was already loose. So you're gonna have a little bit of water draining and make sure you have enough rag to basically dry the water out so you don't have too a big a mess going on. And the second thing, you can unloose that at the top so you can have room, you don't have to take it off. We, all we need to do is just loose the vibe itself a little bit so we can just be able to turn there how we want it and we can remove this so somebody use threaded tape before but we're not gonna judge anybody but at least they try so different people who use different ways to make you know to work and look at this they use some kind of glue like I said I'm not judging so we're gonna make sure that this is good before we place it Now, I'm gonna have to separate this piece and that piece and, and the black piece and clean that up. So,
So you're probably familiar with this tool. It's basically normally you uh, use it to basically change a tub stopper or whenever you're working uh, in a tub, uh, shower, whatever. So we're gonna use this, the same tool, to basically take this space out. So what you're gonna do, whichever one is fit, so this one's fit, you just insert it just like that. It's fit, so you hold it, and you grab that part and then twist it, and here we go. So that come out just like that. So you put that piece on the side. Very important. So I had these laying around the house. I think I have two of these, but I didn't. Ha I didn't have to buy the special tools for that. So anyway, take this piece out. speed come out easily and if any of this piece was hard you would have to do the same thing just get, get it out so you separate these pieces and you got a little washer going on here so. out we're gonna go ahead and clean that don't see anything wrong with it but I'm, I'm gonna make sure if I have to replace it I replace it if not but we're gonna go ahead and clean that we're good clean all that surface because this is looking good just want to make sure this is nothing's wrong with it somehow they use some kind of glue so somehow the All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean that. So, I went ahead and cleaned that real good. As you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and trying to um, place that back in there. But before we do that, we'll make sure this is real clean. It's not an easy thing for these to go in, but all we need, we're just gonna have to play with it a little bit. So it's, as long as it go in, and now we can just So we're using the same tool. The main reason why, if you have the um, special tool for that um, piece, that's good, but the main reason why you want whatever the special tool or that tool is because you don't want the, as you tighten the, the nuts, you don't want the whole thing to spin around because it's not going to work. 
You just want the inside piece to stay stationary without moving. And do not over tighten it, because if you do, you might crack the toilet itself. I can tell it's tight, but I'll make sure it's tight enough, but not too tight. If you know your strength, just control yourself. So I think that's tight enough. So this, you got two washers in there. You got the black one, then you got the uh, little red one. Make sure you inspect them. If they crack, you gotta change them, put my new one. This one look all right. So you gotta insert that first. So you gotta make sure you put that the top um, piece first. Put the top piece first, then you put the bottom piece. Make sure all your washers, the black one and the red one, make sure everything is attached. You don't have to tighten it real tight right now. You just wanna get it to a point where it's snug. Then we're gonna focus on the top one. So first you try it by hand. Before you use any tools. Now this is tight, this part right there is tight. So we're gonna, we're gonna go at the bottom and tighten the bottom a little bit. Don't over tighten it. Yeah. 
be good enough. And that should be good enough. So now, clean up that yourself. The bottom piece is always going to move. So don't, don't think just because it's moving, it's something's wrong with it. It's always going to move. Always clean up for yourself. So now it's time to test our work. Are we gonna open the valve slowly? Now you're gonna watch for leaks anywhere here or up here. Open it slowly and then give it a flush. like this go ahead hit the um, subscribe button